Now is the time to vote for your September Ride of the Month in association with Coral. Vote A for Billy Lochnan's strong ride on Azahara Palace at Chepstow. Breaking out of stall six, Lochnan steered Azahara Palace towards the near side rail. Azahara Palace on the left has got a good early position. At the halfway point, the duo were in touching distance of the leader, Hay Lila. On the rail, travelling well is the favourite, Azahara Palace. Lochnan said go at the two furlong marker, and Azahara Palace answered, shooting to the lead. Azahara Palace are now just with a narrow advantage. And despite serious pressure from Richard Kingscote and his mount, Lochnan was the stronger, guiding Azahara Palace to a fantastic third successive win at Chepstow. Half a furlong left, and on the near side, Azahara Palace digging deep there to hold off, and Monty be quick, and does so. Wins again in gutsy fashion. Vote B for Safi Osborne's terrific ride aboard Dark Trooper at Ascot. A slow break meant the pair found themselves at the rear with them all to pass. Six furlongs in front of them for the fever tree handicap stakes. With the stretched field levelling out, Osborne positioned her mount on the inside. Racing inside the final quarter mile and it's still blind beggar at the moment. As the final furlong approached, Osborne stepped on the gas. Vicente coming into it and so too Dark Trooper towards the stand side. And there was no stopping the son of Dark Angel with Dark Trooper flying home commandingly to make it four wins in a row. Redemption time from Dark Trooper and Vicento. It's Dark Trooper getting up near side. Dark Trooper! Vote C for William Buick's superb effort on Sheik Columbine at Doncaster. Sheik Columbine came into the race as favourite, but Buick and the two-year-old found themselves locked in at the back early on. Sheik Columbine is on the far side of the group and again one of the back markers. With the race hotting up, Buick had it all to do. Sheik Columbine's going to have to really pick up from there. But when Buick pressed the button, his mount responded. Now at last, Sheik Columbine moving into top gear. The late charge, time to perfection, saw the duo land the spoils in the final strides. Heritage House with Sheik Columbine coming hard now, the favourite storming home. Sheik Columbine getting up to win it. Vote D for Holly Doyle's remarkable ride on Trushan in the Doncaster Cup. Trushan returning to action after a wind up and a spell on the sidelines showed his exuberance from the off. See old Trushan just tossing his head around gently in the hands of Holly Doyle. I'm sure Holly would be grateful if he would just drop his head slightly. Doyle tried to position Trushan within the main group but the three-time Champions Long Distance Cup winner refused to settle. This steady gallop doesn't seem to be suiting Trushan, who's now really set himself alight. With Trushan dictating, Doyle allowed her mount to march to the front. Holly's decided, well, enough's enough. If Trushan wants to go on, she's going to let him, and the race changes complexion in the blink of an eye. With half a mile to go, Doyle guided Trushan to the middle of the track. True Shan has developed a big lead, but how much energy has he got left having pulled throughout? Sweet William, under the control of Rab Havlin, looked to be a serious threat on the far side. Can True Shan hang on here? But Doyle's tactics paid off and True Shan bounced back to form in incredible fashion. Sweet William falters and True Shan finds them in more! True Shan run over here by the ground! Done it! True Shan! Vote E for Harry Russell's well-judged effort on Bellagio Man at Newcastle. Slowly away, Russell and Bellagio Man began as the back markers for this six furlong contest. Two furlongs out, the pair had it all to do with most of the field out in front. Bellagio Man well back, so two pocket the packet. But inside the final furlong, Bellagio Man started to pick up. Bellagio Man trying to finish, but it's Golden Duke. And the duo kept going, picking off the protagonists to storm clear and grab the win. Bellagio Man's finishing with a real rush towards the far side. Bellagio Man starting to get there. Oh, it's desperate. 
simply visit at theracers.com forward slash ride or scan the QR code to cast your vote and be in with a chance of winning a £100 or Euro funded betting account courtesy of Coral. Voting closes at 11pm on Thursday the 12th of October.